Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. We're going to look at uh, Chainlink as well because um, as you know I've been messing around with bots and I've got a long term strategy um, now to hold uh, several bots to accumulate both basically Ethereum. Basically, Ethereum is going to be my biggest accumulation at this point using these bots. Much more than Bitcoin uh, because if we have a look, basically you don't really need me to tell you this, but you want to side with the strong and the strong are certainly Ethereum, Bitcoin and Chainlink is definitely strong. All right, we're looking at here, we're looking at year to date gains. Okay, Year to date um, is, has basically increased the most with Chainlink and uh, also Ethereum compared to Bitcoin which has only gone up for a, a significant amount, 158%. I would rather accumulate Chainlink, and Chainlink always has high volume on trading pairs, which is why I'm going in for the kill with my trading bots to trade Ethereum for the long term. So I'm talking about setting a bot up, have it accumulate for a period of months, close it, set it back up again with the with the Ethereum that I've accumulated, accumulate for more and more and more. And the two that I'm doing is going to be this one that I'm already doing here, easy to Ethereum, already uh, been going for just under two weeks, 12 days basically. I've now got 0.6 essentially Ethereum, 28% up in bot profit. So my two Ethereum is obviously worth more, um, but I've also accumulated a 0.6 Ethereum during that two week period, just from sitting down doing nothing. So this is going to be a great bot to carry on with, easy to Ethereum. I'm also going to do chain link to Ethereum, that's right, absolutely I'm going to be doing that and I'm going to be accumulating as much Ethereum as possible. And to put this into context, okay, I will move on to the chat in a minute, but to put this into context, right, so this has been a pretty steady away bot profit, okay, so over this 12 days it's been pretty steady away, 28%. So this is, we'll call this two weeks even though it's just under two weeks, so if every two weeks I get 25% bot profit, that means every month I get basically 50% profit, which means every two months is 100% profit. So that basically would mean that my two Ethereum will be four Ethereum um, every two months. And uh, the smart thing to do would, would be to, at that point, close the bot, set it back up with four Ethereum. Therefore, every two months, doubling that again. So two months later, that four Ethereum would be eight Ethereum. Closing it down, setting it up with eight Ethereum. Two months later, that will be 16 Ethereum and so on and so on and so on and as we all know the bull market is yet to continue for another 12 months so in that 12 month period I will have accumulated an enormous amount of Ethereum just from using the bots with a simple startup of two Ethereum um, and this cycle of every uh, every time I double my profit, my double my bot profit, close it, set it back up, close it, set it back up, close it, set it back up and a year from now I'm looking for an Ethereum to be worth about $2,000 give or take, which basically means my two Ethereum that were worth about, we'll say $500 at the time, maybe it was a bit less, but roughly $500 at the time, so my $1,000 that I put into this bot would essentially be worth close to $100,000 uh, or more. Not bad. Not bad for a long-term strategy. I suggest you you, you get involved in, in doing this bot uh, programming, and you and you uh, like I say, it's very easy. Set yourself an account up with the uh, with the links below. Um, there's absolutely no excuses not to be doing it for the next 12 months while we're in this bull market. Anyway, let's have a look at Bitcoin. Boring old Bitcoin. Yeah. So basically what we had yesterday, and we kind of charted this out, I said that we were in a uh, bit of a resistance trend line here, and if we break to that we'll have a rally, we had a rally up to the top of the Bollinger Band, this is in the night, I didn't make, the, make any any uh, use of this trading zone, I didn't, I didn't play this at all, I was, uh, I was basically asleep. Um, and uh, what's happened here is that kind of appears to be a failed rally. Um, what we see now is a curling over here. The bearish divergence, however, has finished, um, but it's still not looking at all very strong on the one hourly chart. So we go to the two hourly, uh, the four hourly chart. What do we see here? So it's a little bit better here because we've reclaimed the center of the Bollinger Band, which is still facing up. There is a chance that this could continue to rally up to around about 19,900 or so, basically our previous highs. And maybe, maybe at that point we'll get rejected. I'm not really feeling the strength of Bitcoin at the moment. All I'm seeing is trading range um, for it to decide one way or another which way it wants to go. So the four hourly does appear to tr be trying to make another move up. But again, I don't have any strong opinions on this on this range we're at right now. Very indecisive range. 
go to the daily, what do we see on the daily? Um, we still haven't made that positive cross. This is bearish divergence on the daily now. So as you see, we've got um, a high, high, low, a lower high, higher high, and this is where it starts to get really interesting. Higher high there, lower high, lower high with a bigger high. Hope that made sense to you. I know it's not a very good uh, a way of explaining that. Money flow index is trickling down, so uh, and so is the volume. So it's kind of losing steam and losing power. That doesn't mean that it can't pop straight back up. It certainly could, but at the moment I'm not seeing any signs or signals to suggest that it will. Now, one thing I noticed yesterday, and I failed to mention it on the video, on the three day, what we saw here is a very very high read on the money flow index. In fact, it was the highest read that there's ever been on a three day time frame. So that is a warning sign and um, certainly is a warning sign that this yeah, uh, th that this area essentially has been topped out for quite a while now overstretching and over pushing. I do really strongly feel that a correction is going to take place on this one now and for those who haven't seen my video um, on this correction forecast um, this is kind of how I'm looking to see it. So this was our, our bottom and from last year and we did a parabolic run to from the bottom to the top. Uh, this kind of matches pretty much exactly what happened here. Reaccumulation down at this zone here and then <coughs> a parabolic run. And so um, with that in mind what we're looking to see now is essentially uh, a consolidation similar to, maybe not quite as long lasting as, but similar to uh, the, the, the consolidation we had previously, which brings us down to roughly round about levels, um, and again, you know, this is not an exact science, but roughly around about 12,600 or so. I would say that that's unlikely to go that low, and the reason I say that is that we have this uh, this trend line here, this uh, upwards facing trend line that's been in in play for uh, three and a half years now. Uh, rejections and supports, rejections and supports, and so long as we're above there, and um, everything's good to go. Now we, you know, we've got about 12 to 13 months left of this bull market. Market, uh, and and knowing that um, would suggest that we're not likely to break down beneath here. If we did, it would break um, the formation dramatically. There'd probably be a massive collapse, and it would be a, a pretty good buying opportunity. But it would be also a big warning signal to say that if we did take out areas like thirteen thousand, then yeah, ten thousand, no problem. Maybe even nine thousand, maybe even lower. But I'm not really seeing that at all. I'm not seeing that at all. So let's have a look at Chainlink then, because we want this one to bottom, don't we? So we can get a good price on it, so we can set up a bot up and start accumulating more Ethereum. So we had a, a, a channel here, uh, and it's been here for quite a while. This is a daily chart, uh, a, a trading channel, upwards facing. Upwards facing channels often break to the down, so I'm expecting this one to break down. Um, we kind of broke out of that range actually all the way back down to this level here. So maybe that was it, but I think with uh, Bitcoin looking to consolidate, I think we're going to see consolidations across the board with uh, with Chainlink as well. So um, where are areas of significance for Chainlink? Well, the bottom of this channel was very significant. We're talking uh, $7.54. $7, 7 maybe that's a little too low, to be honest with you. We have nice wicks around this level here, which I like a little bit more. So we launched from there and we were supported from there and we also got supported from here on the on when we broke out of this channel for the first time that level is roughly speaking roughly 10 uh, 10 and a half dollars to ten dollars 53 cents that would be a good place to buy it back at but what we're looking at really is not satoshis satoshis aren't looking too great with chain link for the moment and uh, that is only a, while, a one hour chart if you go to the daily it'll look pretty good to be honest and um, there we go but what we see on this daily is an incoming death cross that isn't very nice uh, to see, and uh, most of the time um, we have uh, death crosses take place on Satoshis. They do then play out into um, Tether form, so we don't have the death cross now, so it's not confirmed, and even if it is confirmed, it's not, not, not necessarily going to play out in a dramatic fashion, but it is looking like it wants to confirm. Now, I remember seeing this, this before with Chainlink back here, uh, and we avoided it. Um, we were going to get a death cross. Um, where was it? This chart is so strange. Yeah, here we are. Um, we were going to get a death cross. We were almost looking forward to it. Uh, and then at the last minute, boing, all the way up. So let's not uh, look at this as an actual death cross. It's an incoming death cross, but it's not a death cross. Um, so let's not get too overexcited. But if that were to play out, then I would be actually looking at levels of uh, of, of down to the down to these levels around seven and a half dollars. That's where I'll be looking at um, over time. Over time. 
Um, but this is the important one, this is the one we're looking to trade with, and this is the one that the bot will be set up with. Again, Death Crossing coming, so there's definitely a, uh, definitely a buying opportunity you know, shortly, I would say, um, when Chainlink drops. And uh, you know that, that will be excellent, excellent buying opportunity for a spot hold anyway. Chainlink is a very, very superior chart, as we can all see on the daily. It's a very superior chart to pretty much all altcoins in general because it's not a pump and dump it does do pumps and it does dump but it basically continues uh, and and is very very healthy um, this would be the ultimate uh, altcoin in many ways uh, for its consistency and its and its large gains but not without significant drops which is something that I'm anticipating to take place with Chainlink so yep yeah, spot hold bot hold bot pairing with Ethereum absolute gem completely perfect and I would like to see this death cross play out not only so I can get a better price for it but also because it will recover and it will recover dramatically again when we look at this chart on the daily this is the chart that the bot will be trading okay what better chart to trade than this we've got extremely volatile ranges that bot will love that buying all the way up selling all the way down buying selling buying selling buying selling buying selling buying selling Think about how much Ethereum you could be accumulating with a bot pairing of, of Ethereum and Chainlink. And both assets proven to be going up um, at, at least two to three or even four times the rate of Bitcoin. So if there's anything that you want to set up for a bot, I really do feel strongly that this is the safest and most lucrative bet that you could go for for a long term bot pairing. Never mind spot holds, bot pairing. And you're obviously you'll be you'll be getting paid in uh, in Ethereum. Ethereum will be your bot profit, but between Ethereum and Chainlink, which you'll be holding to create that pair, everything's going to be going up. You'll be dwarfing any kind of Bitcoin holding that you'll have. Bitcoin obviously is going to go up, but these two are definitely going to go up more. So it's a no-brainer in many ways. So let's look forward to this death cross. We'll pick up some Ethereum, we'll pick up some Chainlink, we'll set that bot up, and we're going to play this bot out for maybe even as long as the bull market continues. Six. 12 month period on and off reaccumulate reinvest into the bot more and more and more and more and more and I'm pretty confident that this is going to pay out in in in, a, in the most spectacular way so I would say, I would definitely urge you to use the link below get yourself on Bitscap you get a 14 day trial period um, it's reasonably priced if you wanted to continue after that uh, but I mean it basically pays for itself it basically pays for itself I mean I mean it does I mean, it's a drop in the ocean when you think about the gains that are going to be had just with this pairing I've explained to you here I started with the two ethereum um, in um, in uh, how many weeks and hours are two weeks now so in, in another six weeks I'll have doubled that and then I'll reinvest that into that double that again double it again double it again double it again and by the end of next year ethereum likely to be about two thousand dollars all I started with was a two ethereum would you rather hold on to two ethereum and wait for two thousand dollars or would you rather have your bot gaining you more ethereum and doubling that every uh, every uh, two months I know what I'll be doing, and uh, and I'll see you at the bank at the start of the queue, looking behind, giving you a wave. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Take care.